Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Uh, I don't know if y'all tried clicking on the first video, but I have stopped it. It's something's wrong with the sound. Had to fix it. I hope this is way, way better. God bless you all this morning. I hope y'all have a great day today. I know y'all dealing with this hurricane coming on. But I know you stay in positive moods. You get positive results, guys. Uh, it has been strengthening overnight while we were sleeping. Everybody, well, most of everybody has expected this. It has gone faster. Now it's going 17 miles per hour to the northwest uh it is sustained winds of 85 miles per hour and it is 982 millibars here's what she looks like right now if you look at zeta you can start see that it does have an eye formation it is not as good as it was a while ago but it is still there now as far as the h wharf uh concerns it looks like a lot of these models show that it does have a uh, see cat 2 hurricane is 970 millibars and this is showing 972 right before impact for h wharf h mon is showing 973 uh right before impact and if you look here you'll see that 970 is cat 2 so uh, it's on the brink of being a cat 2 landfall uh even if you look right here on Euro, it's showing that it gets down to 976. It goes from 982 and it still strengthens to 976 on landfall. And then on the way out, 995, it gets a lot weaker. Now, we'll make this video quick just to get the information out because I know a lot of y'all has a problems, probably even potential uh, power outage today. There's a lot of storms in front of this hurricane before it even makes landfall. Now, GFS has it going all the way down to 975. So all these are showing that it's on the brink of a Cat 2 hurricane. Now Euro, here's your 10 meter winds as far as damage. It's 52 knots and then it's 66 knots right when it comes on. That's 76 or 77 miles per hour winds. That's damaging winds, so be careful of that. And your wind gusts uh, will go from right here, first, first landfall. And then look in your area if you need to see where you're at. This pink right here, all this hot pink, this is close to 100. The dark pink is 100. You can see down here it says 90. So if you're in that pink area, you're going to be getting some mild, I mean, some very wild uh, wind gusts. And you can see it's in the 90s right there as well. And this is going to be going all the way on landfall. So it is going to be some strong winds. So it's going to be a major uh, wind gust event. Now, for Alabama, Mississippi view, here's your landfall at 66 knots. Then it goes down to 34 knots immediately on the on the 10 meter damaging winds. So the 10 meter winds isn't what you have to worry about. What you're going to worry about is going to be the wind gust. Uh, now also, uh, here's your shot for the wind gust. So you can see as it comes on land for Alabama, Mississippi, you can see the darkness, the 90s down there. So be careful of all that. And as it moves across, it stays nice and strong. I see a lot of big numbers there. So pause it, look in your area, make sure you know exactly what to expect. Now for North Carolina, it's kind of mild as it passes through. The 10 meter winds, it's kind of ridiculous. It's 30, 30 knot winds uh, for y'all for the Northeast. It's really not going to be much y'all going to see as far as that. But you still are going to have some wind gusts, just like everybody else. Uh, here's your wind gusts. Uh, for, from the Euro, and if you look right here, like in a dark brown, it's 80 miles per hour, and you can see the legend on the, on the top right, so you can see exactly for your area of what you possibly going to get. And on the way out, it's still pushing 50 miles per hour wind gusts. So everybody needs to be aware of what's going on uh, with this. Now, if you look on WSV3, you can see that uh, this red area right here, this is your tornado probability area. This is a big, big area right here. It's going to be like a 3 out of 10. And then the yellow area here is tornado probabilities, and this is like a 2 out of 10. So I want you to be aware of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load, I'm going to play this loop so you can see uh, what it is. This is HRR. It is predicted to be a Cat 2 hurricane. Uh, it has a, Let's see what it has it going down to. 98 miles per hour wind gust, uh, maximum winds with 121 miles per hour wind gust. So it's predicted to get all the way up to 98 miles per hour winds. So be aware of that. And if you notice, as it comes on shore, all this rain comes on, all this rain comes on shore before it comes on shore. So you, you got problems with pro probably even losing power before the hurricane even comes on land. Look at all that. So that's why you got to watch out for flash flooding, a lot of damage and wind. 
and it's going to be some power outages today. So God bless everybody involved. Once again, I'm sorry that first video didn't have sound. It don't matter. I don't mind making them for y'all all day long. Y'all going through enough. So if you need anybody to talk to or you need any information, I'm here for you guys. All you got to do is mention it to me. Talk to me in the comments. I'm sitting right here watching you, okay? So God bless everybody involved. I do pray that y'all don't have any any severe outcomes out of this. I'd like to, to pray for all my brothers and sisters out there. Psalms 67. God, be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Salah. That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Salah. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Amen. God bless us. We, we can use your, 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 your godly power, your, your heavenly insight. Take the, the power out of this storm. The last thing that these people need is more problems. It's been all season long. God bless everybody involved. I, I do hope that everybody will be okay for this. And once again, I can't say it enough. If you need somebody to talk to, you're not alone. Talk to me. I'm here for you. God bless you all. All glory does go to God. Amen.